welcome to the world of storytelling with digital sculpting. I'm sure everyone loves hearing story and telling, uh, talking about stories, right? So I was fascinated about storytelling using digital sculptures. Everyone loved to tell story using their own way, like someone likes to write books, some would like to, you know, make a movie. So I was very much inspired from, make, you know, from the sculptures. <clears throat> So I would like to, uh, you know, the transformation or my journey, how I started getting involved in storytelling. I was born and brought up in the heritage city of Mysore, where I was inspired from the art and architecture in the early age. So I was very fascinated seeing the culture, the way this, they used to tell story. And it used to be very fascinating for me. Wow, I need to convert that in stories into sculpture or an artwork. And I always, um, uh, seen that well executed story or well executed painting is remembered for a longer time so i wanted to capture that in sculpture very few of inspirational sculptures are there in our country where you get you know inspired so i uh, that, that's the reason i went into art college and i did my masters over there in the art but i was exploring how do i tell story using my sculptures and i was hearing a lot of stories very fascinating story. If you've been to Mysore, I'm sure you would have heard a lot of stories, small, small stories. How do you convert that into sculpture or an artwork? It's very nice, right, to capture a frozen frame and tell the whole story. How many of you, uh, you know, been observing posters? Can someone lift the hand? See, poster art is very tough. You are telling the whole story in one frame. It's not easy. So I was moved from that. So I did my master's and I was exploring a lot of possibilities. Then, how many of you seen Hoysala art? Wow, very good. So I, I went there and I was so inspired from that. And we all say that animation is very new, right? No, according to me, animation was there in way beyond, in 13th century itself. If you see, this is all comic strips and panels. It's a drost effect, story inside a story. I'm sure everyone would have played with flip books, right? It is something like that. Why you go Pradakshana? Why you go around the temple? Because it animates. So we didn't know that cell animation. It was there. It is not something new which we are discovering it, but we are rebranding it. We are putting a rename for it. So I was inspired from the Hoysala art, and I, I started using those drost effect in the sculptures. So these are my early exploration. And I was very fascinated about Indian mythology. So I'm sure you would have heard Ramayana and Mahabharata. So I wanted to depict, you know, desire. Desire, everyone knows that desire leads to destruction. How do I bring that? And very well, it's been written in Ramayana. So if you see this work, it is a maricha. So I have, uh, you know, depicted the whole, uh, this thing. When you go closer, you see the destruction, right? The whole Ramayana story changed because of her desire for the golden deer. So that is what I wanted to capture in a uh, sculpture. And if you see the drost effect, the story wrapped around on whole Ramayana has been wrapped around on the body of Maricha. So always desire, I, I wanted to give a message to the society that if you are, uh, you know, there is a lot of stories which have been already written. We are not taking that in our real life. We should utilize that. So I was exploring with different medium, with different uh, material. And this one is, uh, I'm sure you would have heard, uh, you know, you would have gone through Mahabharata. So this is Draupadi. And when, when we say Mahabharata, we immediately remember Draupadi. And all the small, small story what's happened, or all the small, small character. I have wrapped around the whole story on her body. So using drost effect, story inside a story. If you see the Hoysala temple, it is something like that, right? It is a shrine built for some um, god, and his, uh, you know, avatars or his stories is been carved outside of the, uh, you know, wall. And ancient builders and sculptors knew how to tell a story, and we lost it. And and I wanted to bring that, relive that storytelling in digital art. So that's where. The journey started for me to take my art to the next level and how do I build a story? How do I give message to the society using my sculptures? So I got an opportunity to work 
with uh, the late Srikant Dutta Wadair as a personal sculptor. And I was working with him. I did a lot of sculptures in the Mysore Palace as well as Bangalore Palace and got op opportunity and I, my eye got open for Western art where I got to see a lot of Western sculptures which really inspired me to learn anatomy and the way of storytelling or how do you use storytelling. So that's where I got to, uh, uh, you know, introduced to spiral composition. How many of you have heard spiral composition? I'm sure it's something very new for you guys. It's like a spring. So keeping the tension in the story. So you would have seen a, a certain movie or certain, uh, you know, TV series. They create the tension, right? That moment in the storytelling. That's what I wanted to capture in a frozen uh, frame. Here I'll show you a couple of my digital sculptures, what I've done over a period. So these all are three dimension, height, width, and uh, you know, uh, breadth. So it has been sculpted. So I wanted to take digital sculpting into the next level with story, using stories. So these are the few uh, works what I've done uh, using digital. For me, the whole concept, you know, Aham Brahma, I, I, I'm sure you would have heard Aham Brahma. As an artist, I was so fascinated about that. Digital art is something which gives life to your character. Being like a dummy god, it was so fascinating for me that, you know, I can give life to my character and, you know, my character will walk and talk like Aham Brahma. So that was a, a thing which really led me to digital art, where I could tell my storytelling or take my skills to the very next level. So. Uh, this is my uh, uh, one more exploration, uh, sports related to life. So I wanted to sculpt karma. You know what is karma, right? What goes around comes around. How do you sculpt a karma? Or how do you capture one in a whole frame, right? So that's what inspired me, the sports. I looked into sports and I was inspired from Greco-Roman sculptures where they used to do a lot of athletics you know, uh, uh, heroes. So I wanted to study anatomy, spiral composition. It's like twist, right? So that's what I wanted to capture that. And uh, the boomerang, when you throw, it comes back. What is karma? So what you do, you get back, uh, you know, the same reward, right? So I wanted to give a message. So do good for others, you get back good. Be humble to others and you will get back humbleness. So I wanted to give a message to the society, this transformation message, that they should rethink about how they have to you know, behave with others or how they should you know, develop themselves. So I always try to give some message to the society so that it will help them in the future. So this is one more uh, work of mine called Balance of Life. You know, it's a unicycle. Balance, uh, like, it's very tough, right, to balance our life. It's like a unicycle. It's like a circus, right? It, 
you need a lot of focus, you need a lot of practice, you need a lot of, you know, far vision, how do you take yourself, you need to have a bigger goal, you need to work towards that, it's not easy, life is not easy, right, like a unicycle. So I wanted to capture that and, you know, keep it in a frozen frame to tell that the whole story in one image. Right? When I say that, you have started connecting to that artwork. Yeah, life is not like that. So this will help you to take your imagination to the next level. I want that silent conversation between the artwork and the spectator. So I wanted to create this. This was the idea because digital sculpting really helped me to take my skills and as well as storytelling to the next level. Because if I do, if it have done in clay, probably I may not able to push the skill level to that, le you know, to the next level. So here, I was able to go to the finest detail and where I was able to even sculpt the pores, skin details, and get the tension out of it. So once again, this is also a spiral composition. And this is one of my favorite uh, sculpture. It is a little abstract, but it, the subject is very abstract. And this is related to sports itself. How many of you played Kabaddi here? Okay, awesome. So, when we play Kabaddi, what is the goal? We need to stop someone from crossing that white line. When you see other way around, in, when you compare to life, you need to always support others to reach the goal. We shouldn't pull the legs, right? So meaningful, right? When you see in a different perspective, it changes the whole dimension. So I want all of you to support each other when I know uh, right now it is very competition tendency. I want to be first. I want to go. We pull over each other leg, right? Rather than that, we uh, you know support each other, so help each other to grow and reach the goal. We need to develop that kind of attitude. So this was one message which I wanted to say to the spectator, using the storytelling to the next level, and uh, this is a balance of love and trust. So the title of the work is called Balance of Love and Trust. It is like walking on a tight rope, it's very tough, right? It could be any relation, it could be father and daughter, or it could be any relation. The trust and the love is very important. Any one thing imbalanced, you'll fall, right? So I wanted all the storytelling in one frame. I wanted to capture every, uh, you know, small, small feelings into that. This is just a stepping stone, but when you start seeing the life in that way, it really helps out. So I always try to give message in my sculptures. And we always see sports in very, uh, you know, uh, as a sports, as an entertainment. But you can take a lesson from that. If you see other side of the coin, you understand different, right? If you see as in life, when you put your life, you will understand. So I always tried, uh, you know, depicting those stories and, uh, you know, storytelling, uh, you know, capturing in a single frame and, you know, giving that transformation message to others. Like, think on it and how you have to be as a so in society. Always I've tried, you know, giving a positive message to society using the sculpture, because we all, we all have learned history through art, or we have learned culture because of the painting and the sculptures. So I believe we have to, you know, uh, our artwork should be always in developing the society rather than misleading it. So I would, uh, you know, take this opportunity uh, to thanks everyone, and uh, thank you very much.